Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be taking the second lecture on simple authorization and these are the learning outcomes. We shall learn about the authorized attribute attribute in the MVC and examine allow anonymous attribute that allows access on any controller actions without needing authentication. So in MVC, authorization is controlled through the authorized attribute attribute and its various parameters in its simplest form if we apply the authorized attribute attribute to a controller or action it limits access to the controller or the respective action to any authenticated user as this code snippet shows in the next slide okay so here is the code now this is the authorized attribute and there is a public account controller which derives from the controller class and public action result, the two um, stub of um, functions or methods, login and logout, both are action result method. Now here, by decorating the authorized attribute in this account controller class, we actually um, force the only the authenticated people are authorized to access this account controller. So again, if we go back to the previous lecture, it says uh, in the simplest form, if we apply the authorized attribute to a controller action, it limits the access to the controller or the respective action to any unauthenticated user. Okay, So only the people who are authenticated will be able to access this controller. So Next is, if we want to apply authentication in the previous code snippet to an action rather than the controller, then apply the attribute to the action itself. Okay, let's see how it goes. So it's the same code as the previous one, only we have shifted the authorized attribute from the class level to the action level. So here, in this case, the authorized attributes um, forces that the logout action result can be accessed by only the authenticated users. Okay, now only authenticated users can access logout method. So for login, unauthenticated users can access login. So that's fair enough because you know. Uh, for being able to log in um, because login does the complete authentication. So unless um, you don't put any uh, attribute or just put the allow anonymous attribute, so people will not be able to have access to the login method. Okay. So we can also use allow anonymous attribute that is next to allow access by non-authenticated users to individual actions. So it is the same code. Now at the class level we still have the authorized attribute but the login method, login action will have the allow anonymous. So what this does that you know it will allow access by non-authenticated users to this login method, right? Now this could this code would allow only authenticated users to the controller because this is decorated with authorized at the controller level, except the login method, which is accessible by everyone regardless of their status of authentication or uh, status of being authenticated or unauthenticated unauthenticated or being anonymous. So next we will see what this allow anonymous does actually. Na? So that is a word of caution. Allow anonymous bypasses all authorization statements. So if you look into here, so even though we require, we are forcing the authorized attribute on the um, account controller level, class level, if it is decorated with uh, allow anonymous, this um, public action login 
uh, function is uh, decoded with allow anonymous that is actually bypassing the authorized attribute you don't require the login um, method to be accessed by an authenticated it is it is allowing anonymous users so again allow anonymous bypasses all authorization statements and if you combine allow anonymous and any authorized attribute the authorized attributes are ignored that's what is being uh, ha ha what is happening over here that even though you decorate it with authorized attribute at the class level allow anonymous is bypassing this authorized attribute now if you combine allow anonymous and any authorized attribute the authorized attributes are ignored for example if you apply allow anonymous at the controller level and any authorized attributes on the same controller or any action within it it is ignored so allow so allow anonymous bypasses all authorization statements now before uh, leaving for today let's recap what we have learned we have actually learnt about the authorized attribute at, attribute in MVC and we have examined allow anonymous attribute that allows access on any controller or actions without needing authentication. In fact, it bypasses uh, if there is a allow anonymous uh, decoration at the controller level or even at an action method level, it bypasses all the authorized and other attributes.